Okay, here's another Guru's log. Um, the other day I just saw three movies. Not current movies, but they're like DVDs. Um, <clears throat> the first one was Chinese Zodiac. The second one was Catching Fire. And the third one was Dark Vengeance. Okay. First, let's go with Chinese Zodiac. A Jackie Chan movie. Movie. Ah. Yeah, movie. Um... This one was actually like one of the greatest Dragon Chan movies I've seen since Black Dragon, and the disappointing one was Jackie Chan Kung Fu Master because it had this whiny kid instead of Jackie Chan was at the point. But for Chinese Zodiac, it works like this: Chan is trying to get back their their twelve legendary bronze heads, their national their twelve national treasures, right? And Jackie Chan being this expert art forger, art thief, mercenary, etc. Gets most of the heads, but the last one is he has the, the dragon head. And of course the fight scenes actually work in this movie because one is Jackie Chan, two he does his own stunts, and three, no stunt doubles. Um, and yet every time you see this movie I want to kick something. Like literally. Like I can kick above my head and that's pretty good for me actually. Um, there's that one part where they're skydiving and then usually Jackie Chan's got the dragon head and they're all forming this dragon thing so you just see him going all, you know, it was pretty cool. And Jackie Chan had to retrieve the dragon head or else again have to think cost a volcano because China won't take any national treasures that were won in auctions. Which is stupid actually, but... Aside from that, there was this weird subplot about about who um knows. Ah, yes. It was between just one of the art thieves and these other or like couples but not quite well, a couple but not exactly married. Um they had a kid though, but eventually get married at the end, which was resolved and that was done pretty well. Um and overall, there was a lot of American role, uh, actors in here, and yeah, you can tell because it didn't sound dubbed over, which is a which is very like common in martial arts movies. Um, I don't know why. I mean, Jackie Chan can speak perfect English, but he gets dubbed over in his movies. It makes no sense. And this one he wasn't, you can actually tell it was him talking instead of like in Black Dragon. Which, yes, he speaks English perfectly, but he gets dubbed over in that one. Which did again make sense because all the other actors are Chinese, but. Anywho. Good movie, check it out. The next one was Catching Fire. Uh, this is the second movie to the Hunger Games series, and um. This was actually pretty good though. I mean, it wasn't as, it didn't get that big of an oomph as the first movie did, but other than that, I like, I guess my favorite character was, in this movie was the commander, I mean, so over the top, like, Yo, I'm a shot on sight, and besides the fact that he carries a kinky sex whip, which is weird, I guess, awkward, disturbing, really like that, Cat of Nine Tails. Yeah, because you can't lay down the law without hitting people with a sex web. Dominators much. Um, and you notice that the peacekeepers, it's supposed to be the police and the army at the exact same time. How can it be the army when you're wearing all white in your middle of the forest? Okay. Wouldn't the contrast like let them know where you are? I mean, there's stuff like that, and it's the only time we actually see what Panam actually looks like. Apparently, just north of. Well, it's what's well, left of the United States, and they said that, and also, this, the arena was built like in wedges, right? So, and, uh, <clears throat> so of course, Katniss survives with a bunch of other people, then they sleep in the forest, and there was poison fog, uh -huh. 
Yeah, like, put, like you're touching your hand sizzles. It's gross. And I have to always figure out that the water helps it. But one of the old ladies from section well, district one, I think. I forget what old lady was from, but she sacrificed herself. So she wouldn't slow the other others down. No, well, she was gonna die eventually, but uh, more for more. And and of course there was this thing before all that. I'll get to it later. But then they were attacked by giant monkeys, and then there was this tidal wave, and then there was raining blood, and Peter hits a force field and almost dies. Um, spinning cornucopia tree that's a track that attracts lightning or artificial lightning. Yeah. And so it's a banner, right? And it is oh, take this wire, wrap it against a tree, go to the lake, okay? And yet, since lightning is like almost as hot as the sun itself, which would probably vaporize the water, but and again, intense heat and lightning, uh, wires. Uh, to me, it doesn't exactly make sense because too strong an electrical current would actually melt the wire. But yeah, I mean it's true. I mean, get a copper wire and two car batteries. You would see what I mean. It would literally just melt and. But afterwards, Kindness takes the remaining of the wire that was attached to the tree because someone cut it and also someone took out a tracker of her arm. She fires the arrow at the force field and the electrical current actually traveled with it. And apparently the guy was right that it didn't burn up. Apparently it was surprised too, but eh. So of course, short circuit the force field which also broke the stadium. Which doesn't make sense because if it's a force field, it shouldn't like protect the top part, I mean, there's a lot of inconsistencies here. At least, this one did not be action scenes. You know, shaky camera nonsense. But all, of, and of course, I had to go to each district by train to, them, to let them know how in love they were of each other. And, of course, President Snow wrote the speeches on purpose so it can start a rebellion. Which, of course, is why people were getting angry at the speeches in the first place. I know what, what she said from the heart was actually calming them down and preventing a rebellion. Um, other than that, good movie. I recommend that one as well. And then you have Dark Vengeance. Uh, why do I get the feeling that Frank Miller wrote this movie? I mean, literally, I get this feeling that he did, but he didn't. Um... There's a lot of strippers in this movie, okay? Um, let's see, this is a Steven Seagal movie, and yeah, Steven Seagal doesn't exactly want to make movies, and he's actual, and you know, he's a cop. Like, well, legit, he's a actual working cop. It's. It's. Hmm, interesting. And just lays down the law on these guys, like, left and right. And just, you know, he does tempo. So do I, but, you know. and, interesting fact is, is that, all, there's like a serial killer running around, and apparently he ties them up to a fence with scarves, and puts a kitsune mask on them. Okay. And, you figure out that, that, um, there's this Chinese guy over here, like, who does Chinese black magic? Uh, they know that black magic can be associated with different nationalities. I mean, what else? Canadian black magic? That sounds even worse, actually. I mean, screw Canada. The um, thing is about this is that uh, <clears throat> this is okay for the fight scenes and everything, but every 10 or 5 minutes it just goes solving case. Strippers, solving case, strippers, case, strippers, strippers, case, case, strippers, George Decay. And yes, he's in this movie too. Which is a plus. Because I really like George Decay. And he was a good acting job, actually. Well, he's good at, like, well, what I meant to say is that he's good at acting, and. And yes, he's also in Super Ninjas. Didn't know that one, did you? And. Overall, this one was, like, my least favorite. 
because of the whole over-sexualized thing, and the undercover stripper thing didn't work out for me. No. Mm -mm. No. Overall, but it turns out that this crime reporter's one who kept doing all this, well, they got the first guy, but then they killed the copycat as well. I mean, to me, it's just really more than an overextended version of Law and Order. Mm. Oh, please, why can't this be a better movie? I mean, it's not a bad movie, it's just whatever to me. I mean, it could be a good movie, but I don't really care for it. I mean, sure. There's a lot of good movies out there. You, you can say that, oh, this movie was great, but I hate it. I mean, seriously. There's people where that says, oh, this movie sucks, but I love it. Oh, yeah, but yet again, this is taste in music for everybody, so. Yeah. This Guru's log is officially over.